Hey guys, so this is going to be part three of Jet Streams over Green Bank, I guess is what we're going to call it. This is right over, you see the, the radio telescope? The huge national radio telescope that's so fragile, they block all the radio signals out of the city of Green Bank and the surrounding areas for 13,000 square miles. There's the big telescope. Right out in the middle of that field. Now, look at the chemtrails. That's one being made right now. And look at that. You're probably going to get a lot of the sun. This is over Green Bay. They block radio signals. And today I've seen about 30 military jets. And you see those, those ones in the background. If you can see them past the sun. I can't see them because the sun's in my face. And that is over where I'm staying in Cass. Jet streams, those aren't clouds. It's chemicals falling on us, falling on this National Observatory. So I kind of want it to, you know, I was going to say it didn't quite work out like I planned, and hoping some of y'all would come out and try. Look at this. Look at that. That guy's making one right now, right above this place. This is in a place where r little radio frequencies look all around the town of Green Bay. Cass. I think a lot of this might be, you know, I think I might have gotten into a lot of trouble because I make videos and I have a lot of views and it's not because they're going after me, but they're using me. Like they're using me and they're using the videos I make and I'm like, well guys, I'm going to try this and I think they make a show of it to scare all of us. Like, I think that's a little bit of a part of it. Not a little bit of a part of it. I think I gotta get a lot smarter about this. Because, like, I do. I have, like, I'm gonna have more than 20,000 views in, in the next month. I'm so proud of that. I'm so proud of y'all for... Not proud of y'all. Thankful that y'all support me. I think everybody should do this. I think all target individuals, because they're gonna keep doing it. They're gonna try and kill you. They're gonna keep trying to ramp it up. Um... Like, even if I wouldn't have made videos, this guy would have would have kept at it. I think something like this, though, uh, this may, this may, I may filter into a little bit of the agenda of it. Because, you know, making videos, this guy's got it cleared. Where I'm making a video coming up here, and this, this would probably scare all of us. I don't really know anymore, guys. Look at this. They're all through the skies. I know, I still trust in God, I still trust in Jesus, like, I, I've gotten things, like, I was telling y'all on the part two, you know, I came up here, and I do in my human mind, I'm like, I got trapped up here because I just was too hopeful, but never think that you're being too hopeful, sometimes you're going to do things, you're going to be like, well, this will work, and you'll fall on your face, but you learn things, I've learned so much up here, I've had epiphanies, I've had breakthroughs, I've seen testimonials that have kept me going, um, I like visiting the telescope. I like visiting the area. This is right over a radio. This is the radio telescope, though. This is the the area they keep radio free. Because this thing is so specific, and it's so, um, I guess it's so sensitive. And then th these are military jets. I guess this is the area right above it, which has no jet streams coming in. It's all the area around it. Just all around Green Bank and Cass. Small West Virginia towns. Some mountains in the background. And I think that's the only thing. I don't think I think really if I if I stated the truth, because I'm making the videos, they don't go after me like we've gotta kill him because he's making videos, we've gotta stop the information. I think they're like, oh well, his YouTube channel is getting out to some target individuals, so what can we do uh, that would hurt them and hurt him? You know, I think they're thinking ten steps ahead of me because that's what sociopaths, that's all they do. Is they're like, how do we destroy them? How do we kill people? Uh, and we're not thinking that. We're like, well, how do I live a peaceful life? How do I help my parents? How do I just get a job? So you're living in two worlds. You know, we're being killed at the same time. And all this guy does is he's like, oh, military operation, kill this guy to make him look crazy, make him look dangerous. That's all he does. 
so they can really think this stuff through. So we, so when I make these videos, we, we've got to think about that, or I've got to think about that. I uh, definitely, I don't want to be putting information out that hurts our cause. This is crazy. This is, this is like, I guess maybe they do this on Mondays though. This, hey, and and you know, I'm paranoid as is crap. So I'm paranoid as crap because of my gang stalking throughout about five to seven years. I'm not even really sure how long they've been, you know, hitting me with the ELF. I know that the EHF e started about five years ago. So I know when that, when I realized it was happening was about five years ago. Um, but I'm not sure how long they were hitting me before that without me even knowing. Um, I gotta get serious about this. I'm still gonna make a bunch of jokes because I don't know how I'll survive. This is crazy. There's a military jet flying without a jet stream behind it. Flying over. I saw it. There's 30, about 30 military jets. It, ha it just happened. I think it was just a coincidence. And it's always just a coincidence in the city I live in. When I drive out, or I'm driving away from a movie, you know, I came out today and it was the exact time, and they're making them right now. Like, so it's just, that's just a coincidence. We've learned that as targeted individuals. Individuals, everything's a coincidence. Like, in the background, you can see them making them. Everything's just a big coincidence. I'm just a, a paranoid, crazy guy, and all these jets went up right when I came out of that, that lodge and they were all making their, their jet streams at that time exactly so I could look crazy <laughs> Shit. I really gotta think it through though guys cause I do like you know my, my whole point and I'm gonna be totally transparent with y'all my whole point was to make as many videos as I could get as many views uh, to just really get it out there, like to just talk about it, and even if it's a subjective way, and the guy kind of slapped me on the butt the other day, and he's a target individual, he said, you know, stop, stop being so subjective, we need to come at this from a scientific angle, and I think he has a point in that, but uh, in, in another respect, this is what I was, I meant to do, I meant to make it as a journal, as a subjective thing, too, while I try and figure out things logically, they're just making them all around at the time when I'm saying this. Like at the exact time that I came out. And that's, that's the, I, I guess that's the only reason they'd be doing this specifically for me because like I have a YouTube video with so many views and they'd be doing it not just for me but for y'all too. That could be the only reason it could have to do with me. Um, we gotta, I gotta start thinking about that. Because I'm making videos, I'm telling y'all what I'm going to do before I do it. And then, so they're able to put on a show for the video, not just me and, and for the video. Uh, so I, I'm going to, I'm really, and I think I've said it on another video, I'm going to start doing things before I tell y'all. I mean, doing, doing things and then telling y'all after I do them. You know, to see if they work, or not work, or how good they work. And then I'll make the video. Uh... It could be, it could just be military on Mondays, you know, at just about 3.30, you know, 3.15, they start making chemtrails around here, just around the city. There's no way this is just on a flight path, because it's so circular around the cities. There's no way. There's money involved in this definitely sanction money involved and they definitely tell people good good people lies to get them involved uh, it's definitely big it's definitely a big thing um, I want my life back I want a normal life where I help my parents and have a job and have a girlfriend and eventually get married I want those things I don't know if some of y'all are living in one world where you're like warriors and you're just like you know, I'm a target individual, we've been conscripted into this war, no matter what we want, and you're just warriors, and I, I guess I haven't, I guess I was like that, you know, I was like, I can do this quick, and get it off of me, 
it's gone on so the torture's gone on so long I, I want my life I live in two worlds I can't fight this guy I can't go over to his house and fight him physically you know I can make videos about it we really have to th be thinking about that because I'm being totally transparent with you guys uh, we've got to be thinking about how they're going to use my videos. Uh, that's why I'm going to start doing stuff and then telling y'all. Um, but I've been up here for a week. You know, I've been up here for a long time. So they've had a lot of time to put things into place and spread the word. Uh, you know, I've been, I was, I went back into Roanoke, um, to go to the Walmart and I was going to upload some videos. I've been able to upload videos. It takes about a day to upload one video on YouTube for me. I don't know if that's the file format because somebody's dragging it from me. I mean, they definitely got on they got my computer probably about the third or fourth day and closed out some windows and they were hacking into there just like at my house. So there had to have been somebody in the area to do that. I don't think he could have done that 14 hours away. I think he can remotely hit me 14 hours away because I think it is by this point you know, and I knew it before, but you just don't want to believe it. Just like these chemtrails. Like, I don't want to believe this has anything to do with me or us. I uh, really don't. You know, I want to... And listen to that lady. Listen to what a normal citizen says. And there's a guy making one right now. There's many, up to 30 or 40 jets. Doing this all in Green Bank and Calf. And this is an area where they... This is a sensitive area. They keep out radio signals because it's going to affect this telescope this national telescope and these are military jets flying all around do you think they got clearance and they said shut down the, the telescope for a little while so we can do this so we can do whatever we're doing what do y'all think comment tell me I y'all y'all tell me Ulysses was here. This is where I was where I saw Ulysses. Y'all see that video. And then I saw another groundhog. I didn't get a video of it, but I was driving um, kind of out of the small cities uh, back to National Forest to kind of get grounded because I was thinking that would help me a lot. Yeah, I usually have Epsom salt. Right after these, I go and I take a bath full of Epsom salt just in case because it does sharpen. Like if something is coming down, it's at the same resonance as that electromagnetic energy. This guy could pulverize my heart tonight. I have two, uh, I'm not going to say how much time I have left here. I'm not going to get this video up for, you know, probably a couple of days or a week. Because I have tons more coming down the pike. Y'all tell me, man. Y'all tell me. I need, I need y'all's help. I've gotten it. Y'all have helped me so much. I don't know what else to do. I don't, I'm not going to die. I mean, that's what this guy, he wants me to die. He's like, I'll you can kill him. I hear him on the V2Ks, like, we've got to kill him. You know, it's a big thing. There's so much money involved, I guess. I have no idea what's on the other side. I don't want to know. It would just break my heart more. Uh, I do have that thought, though, coming out here and seeing all these jet streams, though, that, you know, with my situation, there's one right over that telescope. That is a military jet doing a jet stream right over. Look, he's dusting right now. I see the dust coming out the back of his plane. What is that? Look at the sky. This is how it looked in Baton Rouge right before I left. Are they just doing this all week long like this? It could be. I could be so wrapped up in my targeted individual thing that it's happening over me and it's just happening in every city like this every week. It, it, it just seems like when I go out, they're making them. Like they're making them right when I go out because they dissipate seems like it's time like I, I went I walked out of my my parents house the other day and I had two military jets do a flyover like right when I was walking out the door two military jets right over me I mean this is crazy that's millions that's thousands hundreds of thousands of dollars in military spending and I'm some little guy just I want to help my mom me and my mom were crying about this I was cry. I couldn't look at. She got me a little card, and it said, "You know, if you believe it, you can do it." And I couldn't even look at the fucking card. Like I couldn't look at it because couldn't even look at it, man. This hurt my parents so bad. It's all I care about. 
and I'm starting to kind of backtrack. You know, I guess I was maybe a warrior, like I'm going to fight this gang's talking, but I care about my parents, and they're in another world, and I'm just trying to get back there so I can help them. I don't know what the fuck. Y'all tell me what the fuck's going on. I'm just going to videotape this. Every time I think of God. This is so fucked up. And I don't know. There's so many of us. There's so many of us. Eleanor White says there's one out of a hundred people in the world. And there's so many of us. And I understand why it's hard for us to get together. It's very hard for us to get together because we're all paranoid. Um, you know, because it could be some stalker. Like, but there's more of us than them. And I don't think that's true. Uh, there's just a lot of us. There's a lot of us. And if we got together and, like, I don't know, got somebody to go to, I don't know, sign a petition or something, we could make this known. It's not... But we're all hidden. We're all trying to just live a normal life. And these guys, this is what they do. This is what this guy does. Look right above me. This was right above me. This guy just did this right above me. Right when I walked out of the lodge, they do it right above me. And I've seen a 60-minute special where, you know, the jet pilots, they have microwave vision. They can see through the bottom of their jet. Like, there's high technology, and it sucks. Like, it sucks. It's being used to kill, like, innocent people. Not terrorists. Innocent people. It's trying to make it... Look, there's two at the same time going in this direction, that direction. Maybe if I just stand here long enough, they're all... They're making a show or something. This can't be... This cannot... It's not just... This this is not just for me. I know... And there's one making one right there. Okay, there's been about 30 and one in the background there. 30 or 40 jets... Oh, that's millions of dollars. That is millions of dollars on a Monday in military spending. Uh, that better not just be for me, guys, because then I don't know what situation I'm in anymore. I know I'm going to lie to my parents when I get home, and I'm going to say this was a great trip, and I had, you know, it was a vacation, and I got rested, and then I'm going to work my ass off on this video my mom's mad at me about. Um... For St. Jude, cancer patients, <laughs> try and get on my grants to write for St. Jude, cancer patients, I, like, that, not even a brag, like, that's what, that's, look, three jets, look at this, three of them making jet streams all in a row, you think that that's a, their flight path and they're all releasing the pollution that they have to release at certain times, all at the same time like that, in coordination, kind of like, what, uh, what is it, kind of like, uh, what's the swimming that they do the coordinated swimming. I can't even think of it right now. What's this? Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's what they do with the cars. It's kind of like the, the swimming thing. I gotta think of that later and tell y'all. I say it all the time. That is some jet streams galore right above me. And I'm right by. That is the National Radio Telescope. It is so sensitive to radio uh, transmission and stuff like that. This is right in the middle of this 13,000 square mile area. Where they actually have blockers that block radio signals to get in here. And these are military jets. Just jet streams all over. They're falling down on me. I guess I'll go buy some Epsom salt. I wouldn't want to take a chance with this much crap falling down on me. Because it does. I, I think it does. I think that's... Like, I've studied it, and I've researched it, and I've felt it, like, after a big uh, jet stream attack, or whatever you want to call it. But it does. My, my attacks get sharper. Uh, they're able to hit me in the chest, and it's like a sharper pain. And it does, I mean, that's just my experiences with it, because I've experienced it a lot. Um, and then I get Epsom salt. I take the Epsom salt bath. There's, look, they all in the same place, crisscrossing the sky. Look, there's an X, making a little X. This is crazy. <laughs> take into account, though, take into account my videos, though, uh, when we're looking at this stuff. You know, and that's my that's been my point all along. I've told y'all I'm trying to go boss. Well, I was trying to. 
I was really trying, what I was trying to do, I was trying to, look, there's one, two, three, look at the sky, I just fill up with them, and this is right when I got to Green Bank, they were doing it over here. That's just a coincidence, the 336, or 346, <laughs> this is when they do it in the afternoon, it's just a coincidence, on a Monday, look at this, crisscross in the sky, this is how my city looked. Like it was about two, one to two days before I left. And I'm not even, like, I'm not going to say it has anything to do with me. Because if I say it, then that scares me. And then, uh, it does. Because this is military power. This is military jets. This isn't some guy in his house. And I'm like a person just walking around, driving around, like one person. So it does. This, this does scare me. It's not going to make me act out. I'll just get in more trouble. I'll show you all. I, I think I hope that video uploads because that's an important video. The guy, uh, I was in my house banging on the wall, calling him a Nazi, and I don't see how he would have even heard me because I played loud music. I banged on the wall. I said, "Stop! You're killing me, Nazi! You're a Nazi! You're crazy! Like, stop! Stop killing me!" And I was yelling, at the top of my lungs, banging on the wall, and uh, four cops came. Uh, the guy, they had drawn weapons on me that were loaded, safeties off, and the guy yelled, it was the guy, the, the lady cop seemed to not know what was going on, but the guy cop seemed to, I don't know, it seemed to be different, and he was like, where's the knife, where's the knife, where's the knife, you know, they were telling me to do all this stuff, and I almost got shot, like, so this guy is in, I mean, he's trying in the most treacherous, from the shadows way to kill me, um, with, with microwave, with remote microwaves, chemicals, uh, confused cops. And they're not stupid. The cops aren't stupid. I'm never saying that. And these organizations, even the Masonic organization or whatever, it's not all Masons are into this. Um, I think I'm going to start listening to Eleanor White. She seems pretty smart. There's a lot of people who are very smart and they know about this stuff. And it's like there are people within these organizations who are abusing power. They're abusing power and they're corrupt, and they get their hands on this equipment, and that's why I mean this this couldn't be sanctioned to kill. You'd have to have a court or something give a warrant uh, to kill a human being. To kill you, that's never been done in our history. What am I talking about? This is a warrantless thing where they say the word terrorist or they say the word rapist or they say the word pedo. I don't know. I don't know what's on the other side, but I know they say something real bad about you. And they try and get you worked up and make you look like you're dangerous. Then they have a sanctioned kill, like, underneath. It's like they can act like it's sanctioned. They can all get around and be like, yeah, we got to do this and act like they're the law. But there's no warrant. There's no court. There's nothing like that. And it's just, it's like a covert uh, outside of the law. They are criminals. Like, they are criminals. Like, they don't think that, though. They don't think that at all. And so it's all confused. Between me and him, it's all a bunch of confusion, and it's gr it just grows. And families get hurt, and people get hurt and killed. And this can't go on, so it doesn't matter. So I can see this, and I can get scared, because uh, I am. Guys, this scares me. Uh, I don't know if it scares y'all. <laughs> don't get scared off making videos, though, because they'll do it to you anyway. I just think we have to look into it. There's a military jet flying right over radio telescope he's not making a jet trail they just make it at certain points like in coordination that's just their flight plan though to do an X right there and to do three parallels that's just their flight plan listen to that lady listen to what the general populace thinks that's why they don't believe us because it's unbelievable right now and not even to everybody. It's unbelievable to people who haven't, it hasn't touched their lives. But to all of us, it hasn't only touched our lives, it's destroyed our lives. Um, we have no choice. Like, we have no choice. We have no choice. We're, we've been conscripted into a war. If you don't think you're a soldier, you are. You're a soldier. And you've been conscripted into a war, you had no choice, you've been drafted. Um, if you don't want to die, you've been drafted. I was watching a movie the other night. Look at that, it's an X. A little cool little X. This guy is right over me. It's right over me. I mean, it is like, if you radar this, it is right over me. Right over me. That's a, he just, that was his flight plan to go exactly over me. And I think about the, the microwave goggles they have to look through the bottoms of their jets. 
that song in 60 minutes. And the guy was like, I can see through the jet. I can see my cameraman through the jet. And then it was like, the military wouldn't let me tell you what kind of technology they use to see through things, but blah, blah, blah. We know it's, it's microwaves. They can use this stuff for a bunch of stuff, for a bunch of things. I don't like being on this side of it. I wish I was a normal human being who didn't know about this at, at times. Like I've told y'all before, at times I do. I wish I didn't have any idea or knowledge of any of this. That's right. <laughs> right. I think it's right where I'm standing. Uh, and this is the danger, I guess, in West Virginia uh, that I've seen so far within four days.